unless y'all are here with us. Amen. Amen. I am so honored and grateful to be here on this morning to serve our brothers and sisters. I never take it lightly. But let me tell you why I'm so honored. In one hour, I have to be to my aunt's funeral. Unexpected. On Monday, I found out about a young lady, 38 years old, who had a heart attack and died. On Saturday, I found out about another young lady, 40 years old, and died. And I'm saying this because we take life for so granted. We take our jobs and put it before our families. We do so many things that does not represent this right here. This amount of love and care. Could, could you imagine that if you were able to love on somebody every day, how long your life would really be? Not allowing our jobs and our people in our lives to stress us out to the point of having heart attacks and strokes? So today, I ask you for this 100th anniversary, 100 months, I ask you to do something different. Number one, I ask you to love yourself. And number two, I ask you to love everybody that you come in contact with. I ain't saying you gotta like them, I'm not saying you gotta go out with them, but I'm saying love them. Because understand this, for every person that is in that line, they were just like us. Some lost jobs, someone lost family, someone just didn't have it, some people couldn't get up, some people dealing with addictions, just because you may see their addiction, we just hide ours very well. So for a hundred months, we have been able to serve brothers and sisters who people say they are nobodies, they're junkies, they bums. They don't mean them. For 100 months, we have been able to love on people and let them know that at the end of the day, I love you. I don't care what you're going through, what you're about to do when I leave you. But for 100 months, we have given back. So I thank you. I honor each one of you who ever came out. If this is your first time, I thank you. If this is your hundredth time, I thank you. If this is your fifth time, I thank you. Because understand this. We can't serve anybody anywhere if it wasn't for you, first for God and for you. So again, please give it up for this 100 months. To the founders, Rich and Erica, who God put on their heart to do this for 100 months. Understand, they could have quit a long time ago when volunteers wasn't coming, food wasn't here, money wasn't right. So can y'all please give it up to the man, a woman who started it down there a little bit, bit better. The devil's been on their heels. So this praise right here is for them because you don't know what it takes to put this together. You don't know the nights that you suffer through. You don't know what you got to say, am I going to pay my rent or come out on self a Saturday? A lot of people don't understand. But to every volunteer that who's given their last, I thank you. For every volunteer that told a friend, I thank you. I'm taking up this because 100 months we couldn't do this. From everybody that's out here now, we could not do this without you. So though Mark and Richard started it, look how it spread. Look how people told somebody, you told your cousin, your aunt, and uncle, oh my goodness. But understand this, for 100 months, the news will never show this. For the next 100 months, you, if we don't tell it, nobody else won't know our story. For another 100 months, if we don't continue to show love, then I guess Baltimore is called the murder camp. Understand this, and I apologize. Let me just say this before I pray to every homeless brother and sister, who after the, um, the individual said that a Pan-Land handler killed that woman and you was on the corner and people treated you different, people act like you was gonna hurt them, I apologize on the behalf of Baltimore City and everybody in the United States because what happened is that story was spread so far to say that a homeless person did this. So now you on the corner asking 50 cents and somebody tell you to get away from their car they gonna do something to you, I apologize. I'm sorry if you ever felt like you were less than a man or a woman because of what two individuals did. Because best believe, I always knew no one from the homeless community did. So I apologize on behalf of Baltimore City and the United States for everybody who's homeless right now and they got treated differently, I apologize. I apologize every time we ride past you if you ask for money on the corner and we call you a name, I apologize. I apologize if we didn't speak to you this morning. I and, and you go to social service and they treat you like you a brother, I apologize. I'll be the first to stand here and every brother and sister behind this table, we all apologize. We don't represent what the world says, we love you.